Hello, hello, friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink with the unboxing and card makes using Simon Says Stamps April 2023 card kit. As always, disclaimer, kits are sent to me by Simon Says Stamp. I do not have to do the unboxings. I don't have to do any of this. They send them to me. I choose, but I want to include that disclaimer because I do work for Simon Says Stamp. So yeah. And then again, like always, uh, monthly kits, there's a subscription option. There's a, you can just get just the kit um, as is. You can just order it or you can subscribe. If you subscribe, you save a little bit of money every month, but you're not locked in. That's always covered in their uh, frequently asked questions. So they invoice you and then you choose whether or not you want to go with the kit or skip for next month, etc. So let's dive in to the kit. This is the Poppy Perfection Kit. Let's get that out of the way. So many fun things. Always candy. Candy is always a good thing. So we have the kit. Main star of attraction, of course, which I was so excited when I saw their like sneak peek images of this. This is the Poppy Perfection stamp set, six by eight stamp set. Immediately love. You got a bunch of Poppy images. I love the sentiments. I love the mix of fonts. Love it. Absolutely love it. There is a wafer die set available for this. It's separate. I will have a link to the wafer die set so you guys can check it out. So you get the stamp set. You get an entire pack of Colorista colored pencils. So that's kind of fun. I'm not 100% certain whether or not I'll use these. I, I love, I love colored pencils. <laughs> <laughs> my problem personally is I that's why I stopped coloring on my cards and stuff with color pencils is I have borderline carpal tunnel and doing a lot of coloring you know with um, color pencils because you need more pressure etc just mm. but these are ugh, these are really cute I like the colors and I like how they have like the colors painted on the ends Man, I might still have to like do some coloring with them. I need to find something that I can like scribble on here. I'll scribble on the back of this. I'm just curious about like Yeah. They're nice. You know? I like the I like the colors. Like, they've got a decent pigment to them. They're not, um, again, if you're familiar with color pencils, sometimes they can, like, they're so full of fillers, like the cheaper ones, that they just, they come, they, they're very waxy, if that makes sense. These are just decent. I like that you get a few shades of green. Yeah. They're nice. They're, they're like coating on them. It's really smooth. <laughs> so anyway, you get a whole pack of these. So that's fun. So you get those. You get, uh, I've got like stickers falling over. Uh, Simon's reverse tweezers. Love, like reverse tweezers I have been using and promoting for years upon years upon years must-haves so it's fun when they include tools like this in the kits because also it's always nice to have extras because I'm always saying it's like I need to order more because mine always grow legs and disappear no matter what I do so I like having extras <laughs> so you get that um they also include one of their new these just came out in the March release I think I forget um, this is one of Simon's new um, storage envelopes. Like they're reinforced on the sides and 
yeah, they'll fit a full, you know, stamp set. You can put your die set in there as well. So yeah, I've been contemplating possibly getting these for, um, to reorganize all of my, cause like I do keep my stamp sets just in their original packaging. I just take my big old scissors and cut the tops off just like so. And that works great over time though they do start especially because like i'll sh i stick you know the coordinating dies i throw them in the back just stick them in there if there's a coordinating stencil set it's there i just shove it all in there and then over time with some of my favorite sets like the sides will start splitting i've literally taped the sides of some of my packaging <laughs> it works so after a while it does start to wear down so these are kind of nice because then i can just stick them in here stick the dies in etc and then they're all yeah yeah so you get one of these so it's cool so you can like see it for yourself like these are not flimsy they're nice so you get one of those you also get a junior mesh bag simon's got the big ones that will like hold an entire kit etc they also have this size i need to get more of these mostly just for my kids because yeah you can put your little coloring supplies will fit in here accessories you know if you want to keep your little like foam tape etc that would also work in fact i might have to do that with one of mine is just keep all my little like foam squares and stuff in one of these so you get one of those lerp you get a pack of um confetti this is the is there a specific name for it um just gold mix confetti yeah, it's got like almost like a hollow reflect to it. That's pretty. And I'm glad for this too, because I've been running out of my gold confetti and that's another thing I needed to order more of. So, hooray. Get that. <laughs> you get uh, foam strips. The whole kind of idea with these is like for shakers, which I'll get to that little element. So yeah, foam strips. You get a whole sheet of foam strips. So that's always fun get those there's a couple different size envelopes got a mini slimline and an a2 envelope pattern paper this is the moda scrap spring poppies pattern paper and i'm going to do the same thing with this that i do with stamp packaging because i like to keep like i said i like to keep my stuff just in the original packaging it just makes sense it just works so you get oh this paper's pretty Oh, I just, I want to hoard it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Ugh, this paper's really pretty. Like, man, look at these papers. Look how, okay, here. Like, look at them. Look how beautiful they are. Seriously. Like. Oh, they're all just... Ooh, I like that one. I like them all, literally. I have ideas now for other cards. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Look at those. Look how pretty those are. Seriously. So you get those. I like them. I like them a lot. So yeah, that's the Moda Scrap Spring Poppies pattern paper. And then this is uh, Transparent Layers from Tim Holtz Ideology. He had a big release, an ideology release recently, like in the last couple weeks? Within the last month anyway, I can't remember. Um, some really nice stuff. Again, I don't really use the ideology stuff, but I saw this release and I was like, ooh. So again, I'm glad that I get this in the kit because then I can see it in person and hoard it because <laughs> that's generally what I do with this stuff because I just, it's really pretty. Okay, let's move. Actually here, yeah, we'll flip this over so we can see it better. So these are all transparent. Aren't they pretty? Ugh. And see, these would be great. Use your foam tape, you know, you could die cut a frame using basic rectangle wafer dies, basic circle wafer dies, you know, create a frame and then use these as your shaker, which is really fun. Hmm. Oh, they're so pretty. See, and I just, 
I'm going to probably have to get another pack of these because I'm going to have a really hard time using them because I just want to keep them. Like, how pretty are these? Seriously. I like them a lot. Aren't those fun? And yeah, they're all transparent. Like, that one's beautiful. Literally, these are gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. I love these, like, rainbow ones. I love this one. Oh. Oh, they're all beautiful. <laughs> this is going to be hard to use these. I'm going to have to get an, at least another pack because, yeah, these are the sorts of things just like pattern paper. You know, I've, I used to use this, you know, pattern paper all the time. And now it's like, I just keep it and I pull it out and I do things like this, you know, and it's like, oh, love it, absorb it, take it all in. And then I put it back. <laughs> but yeah these would make really fun shaker elements or you could do like a window we'll see we'll see so you get a pack of those those are really cool those are really cool and then of course cardstock so you get nina solar white 110 pound this is great for coloring whether it's the color pencils Alcohol marker coloring, etc. Nina Solar White 110 is also awesome for card bases. It's just a good, it is a good cardstock. And then you get a sheet of Simon's lipstick red and slate. Slate matches with the mini slumline envelope. Love, love matchy matchies. So that is the kit in a nutshell. Um, yeah, I'm like fixating on the little transparent bits. I love the pattern paper. I'm gonna be like. Not sure if I'll for sure create with these, but honestly, like, they're just so pretty. I would, like, put them in a little cup, a little clear glass, so I'm put them on display. Because they're just pretty. I love it. So, you get all those. Got foam, strips, and bling. I love this stamp set. Love the stamp set. So, stay tuned. Like I always do, I will have a link directly below the video. I will link to the kit subscription everything that's available individually the wafer dies etc etc that will always be directly below and also my blog post and then keep watching again i have no idea what i'm gonna make but keep watching because i'll make something and splice it into this video and all the good things so just stay tuned and i'll see you in a, in a second thanks to video editing so alrighty, so i went clean and simple shocker <laughs> trust me though this is only card number one for this video i will have more coming because i didn't touch pattern paper that ephemera anything anyway i took the piece of the nina classic crest 110 pound solar white cardstock and i cut it in half with my guillotine trimmer and then i just looked at it and the stamp set and i was like hmm because I had a few, like I had many ideas kind of running through my head and decided to go with just this one large image from the set. So I put the cardstock into my Misty and I decided to stamp the image with Versafine Claire Nocturne ink because I was like, okay, good. A bright, like really crisp black ink because I decided, you know what, I'm going to use those color pencils. I'm, I was just curious you know even after what i said and i was like mm, you know i'm i just don't really like coloring with color pencils anymore but i was curious so stamped the image and then started coloring and this this ended up taking me a while because i went in with just a very light hand and i just built in layers because the biggest like what causes the most issues for me is holding a little color pencil like this and like the, it's applying that pressure you know because usually you know you apply the pressure you get the darker pigment the smoother look etc and i just can't do that anymore um i can do a little bit of it but you know doing it consistently and you, you guys see the amount of cards i post if i was doing it all there's no way like my hands and wrists can't handle it so i just did really light layers i went in with the lighter green really light layer and then I added, you know, up a little bit of the darker green. And I just kept going back and forth. And in total, I did like four-ish layers. I will say, like, these color pencils are decent. Like, the color lays down nicely. They weren't, um, 
if you've ever worked like so, like again and i compare them to like cheap i don't say these are cheap they're just uh, you know the, the affordable price range and sometimes other color pencils I've used that are you know affordable or cheap or whatever some of them will have like literally scratch the paper because like it's the fillers and whatever stuff they put in them you know what I mean or they'll be really really waxy and not very much color these are neither of that like they just they have a decent amount of color they laid down nicely I was able to layer colors on here like I did the lighter green the darker green and then I added a bit of yellow and it was like this is these are great I was pleasantly very happy with them so for the actual poppies, I went with like the orange and the kind of brighter red and same thing. I just did very light layers and then I would go back in at the end with the color pencils and use a little bit of pressure just to add those little bit of darker areas. And you, a person could totally leave it at this. I, I was going to, I was going to do just the color pencils and then I got to the flower centers and I was like, crap, <laughs> these color pencils don't have like any neutral colors, not this set. There's multiple sets that they have available with like all different colors. This set doesn't have, you know, browns, which is fine. I could have grabbed a brown color pencil. I have many, many, but one, I didn't want to go digging for them because again, I haven't used mine in years. They're sitting in a little cubby somewhere here in my office and I just wasn't in the mood. So I did my bit of coloring and I decided, you know what? I want it to be even more vibrant. Again, you could make it more vibrant just by, literally by just adding more layers and pressure, you know, that totally would have worked. I just, by this point, I think I was a good half hour in. I'm not sure how long it had been, but I was like, no, I can already tell my hands are starting to just, mm, mm. so instead I just grabbed some of my Spectrum Noir tri-blends. So caveat to this. I wasn't planning on using these when I started. You know, I was just going to use the color pencils. Hence me stamping in the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink is not compatible with alcohol-based markers. It will smear. I know this. And I knew, knew this when I was doing this. I was being very careful not to go over the lines. And another little kind of bonus in a sense, actually not in a sense, in reality, because I'd color all of this with color pencils, there's that layer of color pencils. So I'm just kind of applying the marker literally on top of that. So the ink from the markers is not seeping through and hitting the stamped lines much at all. And I'm also avoiding the stamp lines as much as I can while I'm doing this little bit of coloring. This is all sped up, by the way, because otherwise we'd be here for, I think, it, again, it took me about... 45 ish minutes something like that I don't really time myself when I'm coloring because I just get in the zone and enjoy the process but um I was able to make it work I was just careful to avoid the stamp lines and I do th really think that because I had all that color pencil work on there it just prevented the markers from really um seeping through because a lot of times like not only will verse fine Claire inks smear with um, alcohol markers a lot of times they'll also like the ink itself will kind of bleed out on the edges you'll see that sometimes it'll almost start feathering and it'll just look the, the image will start to look hazy in a way this is why I always say when I'm stamping images with um, you know Simon's Intense Black Ink there's many brands out there um, and I say it's you know a Copic friendly ink or a, an alcohol marker friendly ink that's what I'm referring to is inks that play well with alcohol markers. Verse Fine Claire is not one of them, but again, I was just working with what I had and what I was, you know, flying by the seat of my pants as always, and I, I made it work. <laughs> so if I was to redo this, I would stamp it in like Simon's Intense Black Ink instead. Saves me the, the little bit of stress, but at the same time, it all, it worked. And I really liked laying, layering these on top. Usually you will, a person would do coloring with alcohol markers first, and then you use the color pencils to go in after to add um, texture, details, depth, etc. It's a, it's a really neat look. And I, again, I don't do it hardly ever because again, I just mean color pencils. It just it hurts my hands. <laughs> but usually you go the opposite way. So doing it this way, I also wouldn't uh, like for sure, for sure recommend because there's a chance you might like kind of contaminate your markers you know, because they could be picking up stuff from the color pencils. But again, I'm, this is a small image. It's not, you know, 
a huge drawing, you know, lots of layers, all the things. So this was all good. Anyway, after I was done coloring, I love how much more vibrant too the, the alcohol markers made it. Like the tribal ends just worked perfectly for this. And then I used just a Copic marker, just a W1, just a nice neutral gray. And went around the out, the perimeter, again, kind of avoiding the stamp lines to give it just a little bit of shading. And then I used my white, my Jelly Roll white, bold white gel pen to add a bunch of highlights. Because by this point, I had, I had decided, like, this is going to be a clean and simple card. So hence, I will take more time with the coloring, those sorts of things. Because when it's clean and simple, you notice all that. You know, you notice if things are crooked. You'll notice if... Um, just all those little details and that's also why you don't usually do clean and simple because for them being a clean and simple card a lot of times they're even more work to you know get them just right you know what I mean but I do love them when I do them there's something about it and trust me I will always make up for it you know the next video is probably going to have 15 layers of splatter three different types of bling the kitchen sink and whatever else <laughs> but I like, to, I like to mix it up and surprise y'all every once in a while and do something a little more simple. So anyway, I stamped, I die cut that main image with a rectangle wafer die. I die cut some black cardstock with a larger rectangle wafer die. I stamped one of the sentiments from the set with that same Nocturne ink. Um, I used the, the half sheet of that Nina cardstock and I scored it at five and a half inches. So that made it a top folding A2 size note card. So four and a quarter by five and a half. And then after I'd scored it, I put it in my Misty and I'd cleaned off the stamp and I inked it up with Simon's flannel positively saturated inks, just nice light gray. Cause you guys know, I like to have the image on the inside too depending on what I'm doing, but with a clean and simple card like this, definitely. And then I took another sentiment from the set and inked that up and then pulled that out. And there's the little like sending word. So stamp the first, you know, the love and hugs scripty sentiment. I love this font, like just oh, love it. And then this one too. There's something about sans serif fonts that just, I love it. So I stamped that and then reinforce the fold of my card again. And then I'm just going to adhere these with craft tacky glue. I did think about like popping things up with uh, foam tape, you know, cause sometimes with clean and simple, you just add some dimension, but I don't know. There was just, again, everything about this. It's like, nope, we're just going to adhere it with craft tacky glue. I'm going to adhere it to the card and that's it. I know no bling, no splatter, no nothing. It, I just wanted the image, you know, the image and the sentiment to be the focus and leave it at that. So I adhered those together and then I pulled a schoolhouse red envelope from my stash to add to that and that's it. So like I mentioned earlier, I'll have a link below to my blog post, uh, supply list, the kit links, everything individually, everything I used, etc. That will all be linked below and then stay tuned because of course I'm going to have more videos because I love, love this stamp set and that power and paper. I'm going to force myself to use some of it because I love that too. And Simon also has a new release coming depending on when I get this video up. I got lots, I got lots coming. <laughs> so just stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch, for thumbs upping and commenting. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.